Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another video on Slot Car Dude. Thanks for coming back, thanks for stopping by. Today I wanted to show you what is in all those big boxes that those guys carry with them to when they go to uh, a slot club or a slot track. Uh, aside, of course, from taking cars with you, but what kind of tools do you have with with you or take with you? What's, what's in all those boxes? What's in all those things that they carry around? So, stay tuned if you want to know more. So, this is my slot box. That's the front, uh, so to say. Um, my club issues instead of uh, how do you say, paper, uh, certificates for race results, those plaques that you actually stick on your slot box. Of course, there are quite a few stickers on the slot box just to personalize your slot box uh, and to promote companies that are out there. Some of them still do exist many of them, some of them don't. That's the rear of my slot box where I don't take things too seriously as you can see by the stickers. Um, some of them hard to get, some of them just for fun as you can see. No offense against anyone. Um, and that's the other side of my slot box. Again, a lot of stickers of companies that are out there that still do exist, that are still doing a good job. Some of them not out there anymore. And again, not too serious stuff on those stickers. But let's have a look what's actually inside the slot box. What parts are, am I taking with me if I go to a slot track? Well, first of all, cars. Those are the two mini set cars that I prepared. That's the Carrera body uh, with the nuts and bolts chassis, the Ford Escort nuts and bolts, Ford Capri nuts and bolts. Those two are fiberglass bodies, by the way. And that's scale autos. Uh, on top, the orange is a Porsche Cup, which is the narrow Porsche. Um, let's have a look what's actually inside the toolbox and what type of spare parts do I take with me? As Marty already noticed when going to a big uh, routed track, you need a few things to take with you aside from, of course, tools, as you can see. Uh, that's a very special box that I have. Um, this contains, wait a second, we'll see it in a second, 3D printed wheel inserts for rims exactly uh, just as spare parts so spare parts start here already um, in the second drawer i have aside from of course some old t-shirts taken apart as cloth um, my little chemistry lab that i take with me when i go to uh, the tracks which is the baby cream. Yes, the famous baby cream for tires, no matter whether it's foam tires or rubber tires. Super glue, always with me. Then some different oils for bearings, for example, which we have here. Then for the um, braids, the braid cleaner works very well um, always have that with me you always need that again more glue this is a glue that takes like four to five minutes to get hard um, and of course lighter fluid to clean tires to clean parts to clean bearings then another glue that takes ages to dry but very good with small spots for rims or to put on uh, lead in the chassis. This is a tungsten putty to add weight wherever I want it and 
how much I want. Of course, the always needed uh, tape, power tape, um, and a lot. Of, oh, yeah, that, that's the important paper for setting up the uh, gear meshing. Um, and that's a 12,000 grinding paper. That's more like a polishing paper. 12,000 is uh, very high rated. Um, and of course, all other types, like that's an 8,000. Those are more polishing papers, but needed if you drive uh, polyurethane tires and you want to polish them, then it's highly needed. And of course, also the rough ones, like 400 grid paper. What else have we got here? That's uh, 1,000, exactly. And there are some more in there. That's a, give me a sec, that's a 2,000 grid paper. So that's the ones I use, uh, mostly with water put on it. Exactly, small stripes. And yes, you know that. You can always use one of those with you. So, again, as Marty said, oh yes, there's one more, I forgot. Pinion puller, pinion press. That's a very much needed tool if you want to change gears next to the track. Very important on the left side, on the very left side where my thumb is, a bottle opener. Always needed when you're at the tracks for a bottle of beer or whatever. So the small one on the left side is the puller. The big gap on the right hand side is the press. And that's a very good tool. Works very well since years. Is with me since ages. But again, very, very needed. Um, and as Marty already noticed when going to the routed track, yes, you need those parts because you don't want to change setups you want to change gears, you want to adjust them. So you do need those things. Okay, digital caliper. Yes. Um, oh, that one needs a battery change. The older you get, the bigger those things need to get. That's a box with all the 30 gears in it. That's why there's the three X. So that's from 30 to 30, 90. Uh, everything in there, small bags marked, um, so that I find the right stuff. Of course, they are color coded, but still, for the old guys like me, marked. I've got the same box with the 40, that's the 4X, that's from 40 to 490. Again, all marked. And they come in, in different sizes, different colors. And that's where I have them with me. Then, let's see. Oh, yes. Those are very important tools. The first one is, with this tool, we can measure rules and regulations for a class. That's the width and the plate itself. The thickness of the plate is the clearance beneath the chassis. Then we have the maximum or minimum diameter for wheels, width for wheels, all this can be measured with just this one plate. And then all the guys that come from a maintenance car maintenance shop know those things. Those used to be in use with old motors exactly for setting up the valves. Now we use them for setting up ground clearance or measuring ground clearance. That's my spare box or parts box for the 32 cars with uh, spacers inside with uh, screws. Everything's marked. Usually those boxes come from um, taking pills because that's three times like morning, lunch, and evening, seven days for pills. Exactly. That's a scale. Always needed, uh, micro scale. You always need one of those to have with you. 
And that's a special torch. Yes, I'm having a torch with me. That's with ultraviolet light, UV. Why? Because we've got polyurethane tires that are actually marked. So we can check whether guys are really using the right tires. And those are the boxes with the spares, screws, nuts, bolts for 24 chassis. Uh, here we've got the screws with uh, 2.5 millimeters and spacers and nuts. Here we've got with uh, two millimeters, like M2. Again, screws, nuts, bolts. Also for the wheels, the screws that we need. And a third box, yes, here it is, with uh, spacers. Yes, spacers and the spacers for the body wobble on the 1 to 24 nuts and bolts chassis. Um, all marked. And the most, one of the most important charts to have with us or with me is this. All gears marked on there. How many teeth outside diameter? What color? And what product? Because they have different color codes coming from different producers, but it's all marked on there, all with me, very handy thing to have. One of the most used, used tools out of my box. What we have here, this looks like exactly braids. Those are the braids that I use on the 24 Carrera cars. And then I also have with me the braids that are used on a routed track um, because the rails are lower there compared to a Carrera track. Uh, then we have another box here where exactly wheel inserts and weights in different sizes are weights, lead, brass, and so on, and wheel inserts. Those are, for example, for the scale out rims that we use on the scale out of cars. Exactly. Um, then we have another box here, the third green box. And this contains suspension parts for the nuts and bolts chassis. We have here in this bag, for example, marked the hard ones. Yeah, here you can read it in German, hard. There's also then medium, soft, and super soft in there. Give me a sec. Yeah. Then we've got fuses, exactly fuses that are used in cars that are built into my controllers. Hang on for the autofocus. There we there you go. Exactly. That's fuses. <laughs> Sometimes I do blow them. Yes, believe it or not. Then we've got all boxes. It's old film boxes that contain tires and rims. Ready, set up. That's foam tires, for example, on scale out rims. And you can find the color code, which is red, which means soft, and the diameter written on the outside. So when I grab them, I know what I've got here. Scale out of green, red, exactly for what car, what diameter, so that I have within a few seconds exactly what I've got here. Here I've got plates made of ABS plastic for ground clearance. That's a 0 0.4, for example. Yep to be able to set up the chassis height before the race. And there are more here. For example, those are one millimeter, as you can see, or 1.5, just put below the chassis so that I can adjust the height, the ground clearance that is needed. Then I've got another box here. Yes, one of my favorite stickers. Exactly, says it all. 
where are all those collectors out there? Um, that's a sticker from an old 24 hours race that we organized quite a few years back. A big supplier out of uh, Germany, online supplier. And those stickers are really, really hard to get. That's again one of those funny ones that I really like. And of course, more to come. Yes, out of a proxy, Dragster proxy race actually out of the UK. And here is another supplier for parts and pieces and cars out of Germany. In this box, I've got a few beauties, of course. That's my BRM cars that I have set up for IROC races. So I've got four Trans Am cars, all 24, all on their original rubber tires, all with their original motors. Just the gears are changed on those BRM cars. The rest is as original as possible, plus four sorry, five touring cars, um, Group 2, the Alpha, the Mini, the Opel, the NSU, and the BMW, of course, the 2002. And yes, that's just the rear of the same box with more sponsors, some of them still out there, some of them not out there anymore, unfortunately, like this one was a good chassis. So, boys and girls, hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. See ya.